This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at how to distinguish between strong and weak acids and bases. So in this video, I'll be looking at three methods to distinguish between weak and strong acids and bases. The first is to measure the electrical conductivity, and this can be used to distinguish between weak and strong acids and bases. The second is react with an active metal or metal carbonate. This method can only be used to distinguish between weak and strong acids. This is because bases do not react with active metals or metal carbonates. And the final method is to measure the pH of the solution. And this can be used to distinguish between weak and strong acids and bases. So we'll start by looking at electrical conductivity. On the left we have a 1 mole per decimeter cube solution of a weak acid which is ethanoic acid. On the right, we have a 1 mole per decimeter cube solution of a strong acid, which is hydrochloric acid. If we look at the brightness of the bulbs, we can see that the bulb on the right is brighter than the bulb on the left. This means that the solution on the right, the strong acid, has a higher electrical conductivity than the solution on the left, which is a weak acid. The reason for this is that strong acids and bases have a higher concentration of mobile ions in solution. Therefore, they have higher electrical conductivity than weak acids and bases of equal concentration. So to summarize, strong acids and bases have higher electrical conductivity than weak acids and bases. Note that in each of these methods, we are comparing strong and weak acids and bases of equal concentration. Next, we look at rates of reaction. Here we can see two sets of reactions. In the first set of reactions, we have magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid and magnesium reacting with ethanoic acid. In the second set of reactions, we have calcium carbonate reacting with hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate reacting with ethanoic acid. So in both sets of reactions, the fastest reaction will be with a strong acid. So strong acids have a faster rate of reaction than weak acids of equal concentration because they have a higher concentration of hydrogen ions in solution. Next, we look at pH. In this table, we have 1 mole per decimeter cube solutions of strong and weak acids and bases. A 1 mole per decimeter cube solution of ethanoic acid will have a pH of approximately 2.4. For hydrochloric acid, the pH will be 0. For ammonia, the pH will be approximately 11.6 and for sodium hydroxide, 14. So if we compare strong and weak acids of equal concentration, strong acids have a lower pH than weak acids. And if we compare strong and weak bases of equal concentration, strong bases have a higher pH than weak bases. So to summarize, strong acids have lower pH values than weak acids of equal concentration and strong bases have higher pH values than weak bases of equal concentration. So let's end with a summary. Note that in all of these methods, we're comparing weak and strong acids and bases of equal concentration. Starting with electrical conductivity, strong acids and strong bases have higher electrical conductivity than weak acids and bases. Next, rate of reaction with active metals and metal carbonates. Strong acids will have faster rates of reaction than weak acids. And finally, we have pH. For a strong acid, the pH will be low. For a weak acid, it will be higher than a strong acid. For a strong base, the pH will be high. But for a weak base, the pH will be lower than a strong base.